For a woman like Judy, she has helped not hundreds, thousands, let's say thousands, I don't exaggerate, thousands of people to publish their book all over the world because she created her Piatkus Publishing, starting the business from her bedroom. And I remember when I was having um, a coffee with Judy in my early, early friendship with her, she's telling me, I love what you do for women because I remember when I went to get a loan for my business, the bank didn't want to give me a loan. They asked me, is your husband with you? Because we can't give you money if your husband is, is not with you and can't sign. And she was furious. What? We live in the UK in this era of this time. And still the situation for women is like that, where a woman like her was uh, doing incredible with her business. And it was her business. It was nobody. It was not somebody else that built her business for herself. And there was no man behind her. It was only herself, her brilliant mind. And then the bank tells her that she should invite her husband to sign to get the loan. Now, thanks God, things have changed. Thanks to uh, women like Judy, who has have pioneered amazing revolutionary uh, journeys in their entrepreneurship. And uh, Judy, your success is our success. And I'm really, really proud to call you my friend. You are an incredible woman. You have inspired me so much. When, when you started your business, Judy, uh, did you know how big your business is going to grow? Because this is a thing that uh, we as women face many times. Uh, we're, sc we're scared to think big. And because we don't see all the steps, where we, because we, we, need, we think that we need to know the how to get there before we start. Did you know everything before you started it? Did you know that your business is really going to grow so fast and and you're going to build an empire? Well, um, I don't think anybody, I don't think any entrepreneur can know at the start of their business, their enterprise, what they are going to achieve. And one of the reasons for that is that the chances are very high that the business that you start is going to pivot and it's going to develop into a slightly different business or even a very different business. And that is because the market is constantly changing. So you start your business, you have a particular skill or you develop a product and you can see that you've got customers for that and you start selling to them. And then things move on, the market shifts slightly, you look at your rivals, you hear from your customers, and they say, could you do it in different colors? Could you do it at a different price? Could you do it larger? Could you do it smaller? And could you do another line? Could you do um, a suntan lotion maybe that has got aloe vera in it? I'm just plucking that out my head. Um, so gradually your business will develop a number of income streams and if you have a few income streams you need to be thinking about the ones that are going to bring in the profit. So when I started my publishing company it started off as something rather small. I was publishing books and I was selling them to libraries mainly in the UK but then an opportunity arose to publish very exciting authors because paperback houses in the UK were beginning to publish authors straight into paperback and not produce a hardback. So they came to my company and said, would you like to do a small hardback for libraries? And I said, yes. So a few months after I started my business, I found myself publishing authors such as Danielle Steele and Virginia Andrews, VC Andrews, author of Flowers in the Attic. And these were really well-known authors. And it helped to get my company known very quickly in the libraries. And then after a couple of years, I thought if I only publish novels, 
no one will take us seriously as a company. And so we began to publish nonfiction as well. And we had an idea for publishing cookery books for mothers and children. And we approached a particular well-known author to do it. And that's how I came to be publishing a book with Mary Berry within three or four years of the company starting. So when you begin your company, the world is your oyster. It could go in so many different directions. Um, you've always got to be paying attention to the risk when you do something slightly different. But if you think carefully about that and weigh up what you stand to lose, then sometimes you have to find the courage to try something new. Uh, what makes a book popular for a publisher, Judy? So now let's, uh, let's stop a little bit into this hot topic because a lot of women would love to learn, especially women who really want that book to be published and where they want to find the best publisher for their book. So what are the, the top criteria for a publisher in order to select the author and to select saying, this is a good book, this is the book I want. And, and um, yeah, if you can share some tips what do we need to consider when we approach a publisher? Well, if you write a novel, then you have to write the whole novel and you want to find a literary agent. And it's very helpful to go into bookshops and think about what kind of novel you're writing. So are you writing a crime novel? Are you writing a psychological thriller? Are you writing a romance? Look at the other novels in those areas that are on sale in the bookshop, because I'm saying in the bookshop, because I, I actually mean a physical bookshop, because you, you really want to handle them. It, you can do it online, but it's actually much more satisfying actually looking at the books, looking at the covers. When you look at the covers online, um, the, the color is not always accurate. So look at the book and imagine where your book, where your novel would fit into that range of books. So that's very helpful starting off for fiction um, because sometimes people have said to me, how do I get my novel published? And I say to them, well, what, what genre is it? And they say, oh, I don't know. So I can't give them any advice if they don't know if they're writing a literary novel, a novel about relationships, a psychological thriller, a science fiction fantasy. So you need to have an understanding of the other novels in the area that you're publishing and have a look about why they're in the shops and why they might be successful. Well, that's <sighs> a very good point, Judy, because I hear that music uh, many times where I ask women, okay, you're writing a book? Yeah, what is the topic? What is the subject? I said, oh, I don't know yet. I will decide later. I said, well, how can you write a book and you don't know what you're writing about? How can you take a bus to go somewhere and you don't know where you're going? So you definitely need to know, first of all, what is your subject? What is your topic? What is your audience? With who you're talking with? Because you can't just start writing a book with, with knowing and where you're going. The most important thing that I'm going to tell you tonight is that if you want to write and publish a book one day, you need to be working on your platform. So your platform is your social media followers, but not every author has a very active social media platform. And if you have a lot of ways of reaching your target m market, then that's not quite as important. However, the bigger your social media platform, and we're talking about LinkedIn here, we're talking about Facebook, we're talking about Twitter, we're talking about um, Instagram, and no doubt in a couple of years, we'll be talking about a whole load of new, pro no, new platforms. We don't know which ones yet. The publisher will want to know that enough people on those platforms are going to be likely to be interested in your book. Thank you for sharing this, Judy, because I keep telling, I, I mean, I never stop telling my ladies, say, who cares about your book? I, I'm sorry, that, that's the ugly truth. I faced this ugly truth from the very beginning 
when I thought, oh, I have a great book, I'm going to publish my book because, uh, yeah, I deserve it. I'm a great writer. And that was like a big bunch in my face. Who cares about your book? What we care is about your platform. What we care is about is your audience. What we care is like how many followers you have, how big you are. And uh, yeah, you like it or you don't like it. Judy is also re reconfirming this. So Judy, how long did it take for you to write this book? Um, it took me from March to October. But I, I, wasn't, I wasn't doing it every day, but I was doing it in my free time. But if I, some days I wrote for three or four hours and that's physically quite tiring and then I wouldn't do it the next day. It's a really powerful book. I, I mean, even though I know your story, I, I, I had, it was really touching to, to read what you, what you had. Uh, put here together. It's an incredible book. I would definitely suggest to everybody. And and I love the design. I love the 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 yellow. Yellow is my my favorite color this year. I have designed my uh, my new uh, interior thing in the house with yellow because it tells abundance. It, it's very creative. So it's very good cover. Thank you very much, Judy. And um, yeah, I'm sure. The ladies have got a great value out of this. It's been lovely speaking to you all. And, um, and I wish you the very best of success with all your writing.